Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video. And in this video, it will be for I'm a Celebrity 2022, episode 14. I'll leave a link down below to episode 13. Of course, it's going to be spoilers. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So Sue told Mike to turn over because he was snoring in the night. Matt is now the new chef. Charlene's left, so he's now the new chef with Jill. Those partners in grind for the trial, everyone was doing it. So basically, had 30 minutes to know stuff about each other. So Mike decided to go with Sue, Sean with Matt, Babatunde and Scarlett, Chris with Boy George and Jill and Owen. So they want to start for the correct response. If they got a question wrong, they would have another chance on that one. But then, you know, if they got it right, they would move straight on to the next person. And they had two chances to see, even if they got one right and one wrong, whatever. So... Jill was asked, how many haircuts does Owen usually have a week? I thought three. I, some weird thing. Uh, she thought one. It was actually two. What's the full, full name of Owen's character on Hollyoaks? Romeo Nightingale. She got that. Uh, what is the name of Jill's coffee shop? Owen was asked. Box to box. He got that right. What is Scarlett's favourite dessert? Babatunde said cheesecake. It was banoffee pie. And then... Which f woman's Super League football club did Scarlett play for when she was younger? Younger, he got that with Arsenal. Who is Babatunde's favourite comedian of all time? Chris Rock, she got that. Which Disney cartoon character does Sean have a weird crush on? Matt thought Bambi, it was the Little Mermaid. What is Sean's dog called? And very specific, Mildred Barrett, he got that. What instrument does Matt play? So uh, Sean was between piano and flute, he went for piano, but it was bugle. And then, what constituency is Matt the MP for? Sean said West Suffolk. Absolutely right with that. How many times has Mike broke his nose? Sue answered with two, but it was eight. During Mike's rugby career, what was he often nicknamed? This didn't get mentioned. She had an educated guess at Magic Mike. Got it right. What is the name of Sue's husband? Correctly answered with Brian. What was Culture Club's first UK number one? Chris got it right. Do you really want to hear me? At home, Chris has a full life-size model of which Star Wars character? And he said white, you know, the white suits. He was on the right tracks, but he couldn't remember the name. He thought Dalek. I was like, don't say that, because that's Doctor Who. So he said Darth Vader, which, uh, okay, it's a better answer. But it's Stormtrooper. And then one, on which radio station does Chris now present the Chris Moyle show? He said Radio X. That's right. So they got 10 out of 10 there. And then Mike, Boy George, Owen and Sean were talking about their old jobs. Um... Boy George used to work in Tesco and at Hat Shop. Owen was at uni. Sean was at a fish and chip shop and at Odeon. And then Mike, I think, used to fix ventilators or something. Um, then, like, Matt and Owen were doing the deals on wheels. So, basically, one of them was directing someone through a puzzle. And the other one was the only one that could see the puzzle. So, there was, like, this maze that Owen, by using some ropes. Then there was, like, a magnet on a hat. Owen was doing all most of them and then there was like a ball drop you drop a ball just limited balls and he had to catch it in a cup so it was for a cheese board and how many romantic relationships has Romeo Owen's character on Hollyoaks had a3 b4 c5 now they thought four but it was actually three um sorry not three five so they got that wrong then they played what's the time mr wolf they had Waller behind for the 10 out of 10 stars they got. Matt tried sneaking off with two bones. And I'm like, okay, I know you're the chef. I know you, but like, share it out. Um, no one was leaving tonight, luckily. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.